Good morning, everybody. It's Friday, which means it's another Heroes Assembly. And um, we start the term a bit unusually because I'm not coming around to say hello to you all um, today like I normally do. You're all at home. Well, lots of you are at, are at home um, and you're listening to your, our Heroes Assembly through the DMB at home on your devices or on your school laptops if you borrowed one. I'm so sorry you can't be in school at the moment, um, but we have to make sure we're keeping each other safe. And I know you'll all be doing that and you'll be helping um, look after our community of Portland, which is such a very special place. I'm going to start this week with my Hero Award. Um, now my Hero Award go is a really, really special one this week and it goes to all of our teachers and all of your mums and dads. Um, our teachers, your teachers have been working so hard this week to get everything up and running. So a really big thank you from me. I know they've been working so hard and they're so proud of all the work you've been doing. But my second hero goes to all of your mums and dads and grannies and granddads who have been helping you at home. Um, it's a really tough job just stepping in and pretending to be teachers. So make sure you're really helping them um, and working as well as you can. But thank you to all the mums and dads and grown ups out there. You guys are doing a brilliant job and we couldn't do it without you. So my heroes this week are all of the grown-ups out there who are helping you guys. Right, onwards to the work you've been doing. Now we've got Superhero Day in reception today, um, which is fantastic, and I know that you guys will all be looking wonderful. Let's see who Mr. Blanthorn's Spider Crab Hero of the Week is this week. Hello everyone. I hope that you've had a lovely Christmas break. And although we can't be together at the moment, I am thinking about you all at home. I'd like to say a big thank you to all of the children who are working really hard online and also to our parents because I know that Tapestry has had some problems already this week and it's been a bit of a struggle for you at times. But well done for persevering and it's great to see the work that you're completing on at home. I would like to give my Hero of the Week this week to somebody who has taken something that we've done at school with our Rainbow Challenges and they've adapted it and changed it to do with something they, they could do at home. So well done to Luca. Luca, I loved how you've taken your wooden spoons and you've coloured them all a different colour of our challenges that we're putting online. And then as you complete them, you're collecting them too and having a reward time once you've collected all of your challenges. That was excellent and it really brought a smile to me. So thank you for trying really hard at home Keep up the great work. Bye, everyone. Thanks, Mr. Blanthorn. I can't believe we've got our own rainbow challenges happening at home. It's fantastic. What a great job everyone's been doing. And it's wonderful to see your tasks completed on tapestry. Well done. Okay, next up is Miss Neve. Miss Neve, who is Lobster Class's Hero of the Week this week? Hi, everyone. I hope you had a fantastic Christmas break. Now, my hero in lobster class this week is going to somebody who has got stuck in with their virtual learning. On the first day, they had sent me so much work and I could see that they were really trying hard. And this person has also started to sound out some words using their phonics, sounding them out and then blending the words as well. So, fantastic work to Poppy. I've been super impressed and you need to give yourself a round of applause. Keep up the fantastic work. Thanks, Miss Neve. Sounds like our lobsters are working really hard this week as well. Wonderful work. Keep it up. OK, next up, we've got year one. So, Miss Powell, can you tell us who Turtle Class's Hero of the Week is this week? My hero for Narwhal class this week is somebody who has been working super hard at home already. They have done some fantastic writing about the seaside. They have been working really hard with their phonics too. But what I have especially noticed is this person's amazing drawing of St Paul's Cathedral. They have followed the instructions really carefully and they've used some incredible colours too. And that person is Evie. Well done, Evie. Great job, guys. Well done. Keep up the good work. I know Miss Powell's incredibly proud of you. Okay, next up is Miss Chant. Miss Chant, can you tell us who Narwhal Class's Hero of the Week is this week?
thanks Miss Chan. It's great to hear that your novels are working so hard. I know how proud you must be of them. Okay, next up is year two. So Mrs. Winter, unfortunately, is not very well at the moment. So she's having some time off to look after herself. She'll be okay, don't worry. But Mrs. Russell has been looking after her class this week. So Mrs. Russell, who is your Rainbow Starfish class hero of the week this week? Good morning everybody uh, and especially um, Rainbow Starfish who I've had the pleasure of looking after online this week. Um, my hero is, was really hard to choose because lots and lots of engagement from lots of children show me all their work they've been doing um, and it's been really lovely to see. But one person that really impressed me and pudding and cheese was uh, Lily Rose Dodd. So well done to you, you are the Rainbow Starfish Hero of the Week. See you all later guys, bye. Fantastic. Thanks, Mrs. Russell. I know that year two have been working really hard with their new Victorian topics. I've loved um, reading about some of the work you've been doing. So well done. And thank you to those of you who send me good mornings every morning. Year two, you're great for that. So well done. OK, next up is year three. Mrs. Richardson, can you tell us who Seahorse class is here of the week is this week? Hello and good morning. It's hero assembly time this week. Before I say the hero of 3A this week, I'm going to say a huge well done to all of you for engaging so well in Google Classroom. It's really great to see you working so hard, whether you're at home or at school. So thank you for your efforts this week. And my hero this week goes to somebody who really has shown enthusiasm, getting really stuck into their work. And that is true. So well done, true. Thanks, Miss Richardson. Great to hear. I really love how committed your year threes are and I love reading their chat and their comments on Google Classroom as well. OK, next, next up is Mr Dolby. Mr Dolby, who is your Jellyfish Classes Hero of the Week? Good morning, everybody, to our first remote heroes video for Jellyfish. Now, I think this is going to be a common theme, but I have to say I am so impressed with all of the people who've turned this round and they have done so much and learned so much so quickly I'm going to give my hero to everybody who has uploaded their work and done all of the things on Google Classroom that they should have done. You guys are amazing and I'm so, so proud of you. Well done, everybody. See you next week. Thanks, Mr Dolby. It's great to hear that all of your class has been working so hard. Very well deserved to you all and thank you for engaging in our remote platforms. OK, next up is Miss Jackson. Miss Jackson, can you tell us who Hammerhead Sharks Hero of the Week is this week? Morning guys, I hope everyone had a lovely Christmas break and has enjoyed their first week of virtual learning. But my hero this week for Hammerhead Shark Class goes to someone who has adapted really well to the change in situations, has just got on with all of their work, has worked really, really hard and is still making incredible progress despite all the changes. So well done Logan, you're my hero this week. Keep up the great work. Have a great week guys, I'll see you next time. Bye. Well done and can. Congratulations to you. Thanks, Miss Jackson. OK, next up is Miss Jukes. Miss Jukes, can you tell us who Swordfish's class is here at the week is this week? Hello, everybody. What a strange week it's been. But I'll tell you what, I've just been so impressed with everybody, not just from Swordfish class, but everybody from the school, because I think that you've all just done amazingly just to pick um, our remote learning back up and just run with it again. Honestly, Atlantic, you are brilliant. Now, for my class, for uh, Swordfish, I had such a difficult job picking my hero because everybody has just been brilliant and amazing and have just worked so hard with their home learning. But I just found it so hard to pick. So I've gone, for my hero, I've gone for the class. I think everybody deserves it this week. So well done, Swordfish. You are all my heroes. Thanks, Miss Jukes. Sounds like it's been a busy week for Swordfish. Well done. Keep up the good work. Can't wait to see what else you're doing next week. OK, next up is Year 5. Year 5, you produced some amazing crowns this week. I love them. Hopefully you all enjoyed them on the DMB yesterday. Um, so first up is Miss Watson. Miss Watson, can you tell us who Dolphin Class is here of the week is this week? Good morning, Atlantic, and welcome to my work today. This is where I work every day when we do our virtual learning. So you can see I've got my laptop ready to do some more work today. Um, I'd like to tell you who my hero is this week in 5A Dolphin class. We've had a new student join us, and what an unusual way to start your new learning in a new school by doing virtual learning on Google Classroom. But well done, Isabella, you've done a fantastic job of joining in 
and getting started with your learning. So thank you so much and thank you to your parents for helping you out. Well done and keep up the good work. Thanks, Miss Watson. That's wonderful to hear. I loved how reading how kind your comments were um, on the Google Classroom and the comments from your class were about to, for our new student this week. So thank you to you all. It's lovely to have such a wonderful, supportive family in Dolphin class. OK, next up is Mr. Eakers. Uh, Mr. Eakers, please, could you tell us who Sea Lions Hero of the Week is this week? Thanks, Mr. Eakers. Sounds like it's been a great week in year five. Um, we wouldn't expect anything less. Well done. Okay, next up is Miss Chant. Uh, Miss Chant, can you tell us who Orca class is here of the week is this week? Good boy. Hey, good morning, everybody. We're here to tell you about six days here of the week this week. And the person that we've chosen is somebody who has produced consistently high quality work in terms of their content and presentation this week in their home learning. So in 6A, I am very, very pleased to tell you that our hero of the week for her fabulous work is Holly B. Well done, Holly. Congratulations, darling. Wonderful. Thanks, Miss Chan, and thanks, Kiplin. Uh, wonderful to see. I know Year 6 have been playing with Tinkercad this week and doing some 3D modelling. Um, hopefully you've seen that on the DMB this morning. Well done guys. Really tricky challenge but I know you guys have loved it so it's great to see you getting stuck into something new even in these unusual situations. Okay, Mrs Dolby, who is Penguin Class's hero this week? Good morning and welcome to Penguin Class Hero of the Week. And what a week it has been. Oh, so much work has come in from everybody that it has been so hard to pick just one person. So this week I am nominating everyone who has uploaded and engaged with their online learning platforms. Amazing. Well done. You guys have really done well. Thank you. Bye. Brilliant. Well done, Year 6. And well done. And thank you to all our class teachers for your heroes. It's lovely to hear how proud you are of your students. OK, last up, Mrs Russell again. Oh, twice in one week. Mrs Russell, who is your PE hero this week? Hi, everyone. Welcome to my PE hero for this week. A bit different um, than normal, as, as we've all been doing our learning online. Um, but it, it goes to someone who actually, when we were at school, puts a huge effort into her PE lesson, um, but also all through the last lockdown and this lockdown is, uh, takes photos and videos and always leaves, leaves comments for me and always puts 100% effort in and that goes to Bella in year four, Bella Ablin, well done, you're the PE hero for this week. See you later guys, bye. Wonderful, couldn't agree more. It's so very important to keep active. Make sure you're going outside. I know it's harder because it's the winter and it's chilly. It was so frosty yesterday. Um, but make sure you're getting outside. It's really, really good for you. We've got some daily mile challenges to keep you um, posted about next week. So make sure we're all getting outside, running, cycling, doing whatever you can. Okay. Um, Mrs. Richardson was really pleased and really proud of how many reading badges had been achieved over the holidays. So if your name is on the screen now, just here. Well done to you. Um, we will try and get our badges to you somehow, um, whether that's when you get back to school or whether we can sneak them to you, we'll see. So hopefully that you'll get them soon, but well done to you guys. Okay, that really is everything for me this week. Um, I've been so proud of you all, um, all of our pupils at Atlantic Academy, but also all of our parents and all of our teaching staff. You've been amazing and I couldn't thank you, can't thank you enough for your support this week. So a warm thank you for me. Have a wonderful weekend. Please stay safe. Please um, keep yourself distanced from everyone else. Look after yourselves and I'll speak to you next week. Bye-bye.